So Scott, a very probably frustrating nil-nil draw in the FA Cup third qualifying round for you in the end. Uh, do we only have, do you think, Rowan Luther to thank in the end? Yeah, in the end, it's a brilliant nil-nil draw. Um, didn't deserve to be in the hat come Monday. Obviously, the game on Tuesday will depend whether we get to play another game in it after that. But Rowan Luther today has yeah, saved us. I think he's made probably six maybe outstanding saves and maybe a couple of average saves as well. So, um, yeah, I've just lost my rag in there for the first time this season um, purely because it looked like men against boys and they look like the men and we look like boys today and we've got a much more experienced side than them. They're a young side who look like they're complete sponges in terms of the information that they receive and that they take on board. It seems like they play a certain way and they've played it really well today. Um, I thought we were dominated for the whole second half. I thought first half was a little bit to in and fro in, um, but second half they were absolutely outstanding. Um, and we've got away with one, there's no doubt about it. And then what, what, what for you was the issue kind of in the second half and the first half, I guess, because it seemed like a lot of the passing Slough were trying to do, it was, it was a bit sloppy and it couldn't really, didn't really seem like we could build up a move from four or five passes onwards. No, I think they made it really difficult to play against. They sort of locked off the middle of the pitch and we couldn't play through. Um, and the width that we had wasn't good enough today. Um, the pitch is actually quite testing. They made it look like it was simple, um, but it's kind of wet um, on top. It's quite hard underneath, a little bit skiddy. Um, listen, I'm not making any excuses. They were. They looked like if they played at, at Wembley today on the pitch. So, um, yeah, it, it just wasn't acceptable. But sometimes you've got to hold your hand up and say that you've played a better side today um, and they were better than us on the day. Um, I think they'll be frustrated not to have got the day, game done. Um, we got away with Rowan making some fantastic saves. Um, then we got away with the offside goal as well. I say I got away with it, I think it was offside. Um, but yeah, it's one of those days that probably for the first time this season I felt like we've had a bit of luck on our side. Um, Luck a few times, uh, being fortunate, but there's no luck in the saves that Rowan's made. I think some of them are just absolutely outstanding. And he showed today why he's a championship player. Um, I'm absolutely buzzing for him because sometimes you need that for your confidence. I know he's kept a couple of clean sheets, but I think he's finally arrived after that. Um, he's not had loads and loads to do. Um, I know he was disappointed in the first game that he played against Tunbridge with some of the decisions that he's made. and. Yeah, today, listen, we can't thank him enough. I think me, Yellow and Chrissy, along with the boys in there, have just said thank you. Um, because, yeah, without him, we would have been out of the competition this afternoon. You had your hands full as well throughout, I think more so with that second half, although there was a penalty claim against yourself on Dan Fitchett. Uh, how did you manage to find him in the end? Because he seemed like a bit of a handful for yeah, you. Yeah, I've known Fitch for, Christ, probably 20 years now. Um, 18, 20 years. And listen, he's a good player. He's experienced. Um, his movement's very good. He's clever. Strong lad as well. Backs into you. Um, and with the penalty as well, listen, it's one of those ones that he maybe have, would have given on another day. Um, I had my hand on his back and I think, felt like he went over a little bit easily, but yeah, sometimes the refs can, can give them. Um, and if he'd have given it, it's one of those ones where you probably don't put your hand on his back. Um, but all over today, myself included, it just wasn't good enough. I was sloppy for the first half an hour particularly, gave the ball away um, so many times. And then it sort of became a disease where everyone else was doing it. Um, we never really got a foothold in the game. Confidence looked like it went. People were nervous getting on the ball. And once you have that sort of nervous energy within the team, it's really difficult to then turn it. Um, but yeah, overall, listen, delighted to keep a clean sheet, but it's not our clean sheet, it's Rowan's. I just said that to the boys in there. It's not a defensive clean sheet. It's not a midfield, the striker's working hard. That's purely just one person on his own. Um, so I'm not going to put it down to a great defensive performance because it certainly wasn't. And then obviously now looking forward to what is an unexpected replay, although I'm not quite sure what you were thinking beforehand. Um, we're in a hat for the next round, but what do you now think, looking at Tuesday at home at Arbour Park, does that give you confidence that we could turn them over on our, on our pitch? I but... don't think we can be any worse, um, okay. but it's one of those ones. It's a, it's a game where we both know each other's sides now, um, know what to expect. I said to the lads before the game, can we be in the hat on Monday? We knew it wasn't going to be an easy game. Um, I'm not naive enough to think that just because they're a league below, um, that we're going to just turn up and roll them over. I've watched them three times uh, on video in the last week and I knew it would be tough. I tried to sort of get the message across to the boys how difficult it was going to be. Um, but I think they've surprised the boys today, I'll be honest with you. So, um, yeah, confident that maybe we can bring them back to our park and put in a better performance. Um, obviously, it's a game that I'm grateful that we're in. Uh, we'll know who either of us are going to play in the following round, which is a nice thing to do. But um, at the same time, there's a hell of a 90 minutes to go yet. Um, we'll have to be at our very best. Um, but hopefully they'll have to be at their very best as well to get a result against us. 
And I think also what we're going to need now, is, as we've seen already this afternoon, the away support, again, brilliant from them. Uh, are we going to need them now even more so on Tuesday night? Yeah, I think that's probably the most um, yeah, dour performance that they've watched in a long time. We didn't really have much to shout about. Um, it was a little bit embarrassed going over at the end because I thought not once, I don't think we've got them off their seats even though they stood up, but I don't think once anyone really got excited. I think Lenchy's had a shot in the first half from maybe 25 yards. Johnny's had a blocked shot in the second half. Other than that, yeah, we didn't create anything. So I think maybe a header in the first half as well. Um, so yeah, no, thank you to those guys as always. Uh, I know they're brilliant supporters, we're lucky to have them, but yeah, I'm just disappointed that we couldn't give them something to maybe uh, get excited about t uh, this afternoon, but maybe we can do it on Tuesday. Yep, cheers, Scott. Cheers, Tom, thanks, mate.